Greetings, my dear old Laddingtons. Today I want to try to explain why Sweden would do such a thing as investigating a ban on runes and Nordic symbols. But first, I have a message from the glorious sponsors of this video. Viking Jewelry. So if you see the extremely aesthetic Hammer of Thor Mjölner I'm rocking at the moment. It's from their store and they are having a little celebration today and tomorrow with some special deals. So you can get 30% off if you use my code GloriousLion30. Link in the description box. So do check them out. They have some aesthetic items in their store. And as I've said before, the reason, one of the reasons I wear a Hammer of Thor is to remind myself to set the pace high. So if I'm in the Temple of Iron or something and do deadlifts or shrugs or something of that nature, I can get an extra motivating factor in my mind. And then obviously in... Um, in regards to today's topic, it's extra fun to wear it, so it's a statement of defiance of sorts as well. So, on to the question at hand, and uh, there are two aspects I would like to share with you all. First and foremost, something I have talked about on numerous occasions before, and something I will talk even more about in coming videos, that is the constant on seizing an unyielding attack upon our history. And when I say our, I mean European bioculture. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about good old America or good old England or good old Sweden or good old Germany. No matter where you are, there is an attack upon our history. Same thing when they tear down statues in the American South or when BBC is falsifying British history or when the Swedish government is investigating a ban upon runes, it's the same thing. They're trying to cut the roots of our tree. I, on the other hand, I stand for the tree. I am 100% on the side of European bioculture. I stand valiantly at the side of Mother Europe. So for me, if I want to fight back, I'm doing it by promoting our heritage and our history. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the one aspect to keep in mind. The other aspect is, if we look upon the Swedish case, now a individual of average or above average intelligence would look upon Sweden and say there is a surge in interest for Viking history because of series such as Vikings or even Game of Thrones. There is an interest in the population of the world to know more about Vikings, because Vikings are cool, basically. So what a normal individual would have done is to try to promote Viking culture as a matter of tourism. Now, these politicians, they've never run a company, they've never worked a day in their lives, they have very little real-life experience. What they have done, these career politicians who are proposing these bans, they've gone to some sort of left-wing university, then they've gone into a youth party, and after that they've gone into the mother party and into the government because people are still voting for them. So I ask you, dear Westerner, why are you still voting for them? Now, of course, this is a rhetoric question because none of my gallant legionnaires has obviously voted for these monsters who are doing this to our own people. But it bears to be asked this question. You can ask some relative you have. Why have you voted for the social democrats? These people who have never worked a day in their lives. Never run any sort of business. They are in charge of these things. So that's just an economic aspect. But uh, ultimately it's not the most important aspect. Of course the most important aspect is that they are painting up an enemy that doesn't exist. They need to tell themselves that they are fighting the good fight against evil right-wing extremists who are using Nordic symbols and Nordic ancient jewelry to promote a right-wing agenda. They're using runes to spread propaganda or whatever. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to make sense. That is just what they're doing. There is a Spanish book, Don Quixote, where a knight goes around fighting windmills because he believes them to be giants. 
Same thing here. They're portraying an enemy that doesn't really exist to justify their own existence. And these politicians, they're obviously squabbling amongst themselves in order to be the one who's the most opposed to right-wing extremism. The one who proposes the harshest punishments for right-wing extremism. These guys, they always talk about democracy and tolerance, but they have no respect for real democracy, freedom of speech or anything of the sort. They're just trying to play the game, try to appease their masters who have a vested interest in dismantling Nordic and European culture. That's it. So if you wonder why would these politicians say that we need an investigation to shut down these right-wing extremists, it's because they have to portray a narrative where they are the tolerant center against extremists on all sides, including right-wing extremists who have hammers of Thor around their neck or use runes on their banners, etc. So point being, if they don't have any real enemies, they can at least pretend that they have to appease themselves, their colleagues and their masters. So that is basically what the rune, proposed rune ban is all about. Will it happen? I don't know. I don't think this is the last time we see or hear about this either. So uh, that's my take. I hope you got a good insight into the mad minds of the liberal leftist establishment of Sweden or indeed the whole West. So keep your head up and remember to always honor and stand by Mother Europe. And who am I? I'm the Viking of Wisdom, XXO. Boom.